We are the paradoxical ape. Bipedal, naked, large-brained. Long the master of fire, tools, and language, but still trying to understand ourselves. Aware that death is inevitable, yet filled with optimism. We grow up slowly. We hand down knowledge. We empathize and deceive. We shape the future from our shared understanding of the past. Carta brings together experts from diverse disciplines to exchange insights on who we are and how we got here. An exploration made possible by the generosity of humans like you. Welcome everybody to the CARTA Open Symposium, Public Symposium on the Awareness of Death and Personal Mortality and its Implications for Anthropogeny. I'm Rusty Gage and I'm one of your, uh, one of the co-organizers of uh, CARTA in general. CARTA is um, founded on these basic principles of what are the oldest questions regarding humans. Who are we? What are we doing here? Where do we come from? How do we get here? And where are we going? Most of these questions are not really tractable in modern scientific sense of things. We've focused in on a couple of them that we believe uh, resonate with a multidisciplinary approach to understanding. So where do we come from? And how do we get here? Uh, the term that we've used to coin our interest is anthropogeny, or explaining the origin of humans, and it is currently defined uh, in the Oxford English Dictionary as the investigation of the origins of humans, but the term uh, harks back to 18, 1839 in Hooper's Medical Dictionary in the study of the generation of man. A little bit about our, our organization. CARTA stands for the Center for Academic Research and Training in Anthropogeny. As I said, I'm one of three co-directors, Ajit Varki, uh, at the School of Medicine at UCSD, and Margaret Schoenberger, who's the past chair of anthropology at UCSD. Importantly, Pascal Gagnon is our associate professor, and pathology is also the associate director. We have a fabulous staff that's been working with us for many years to uh, make this whole process run smoothly. Most importantly, Linda Nelson, uh, Ingrid Bernoschka Perkins, uh, Kate Kea, Vishnu Nandanjam, and Jesse Roby, who's been helpful in all of them, helpful in so many ways. The fun thing about this uh, meeting and this approach to understanding the origins of man are that uh, it's a cross disciplinary. Uh, organization, and many of you that have attended our conferences in the past have seen that we blend humanities, biological sciences, engineering, physical and chemical sciences, as well as the social sciences together to answer some of these important questions. Our mission uh, that we've sort of come to after having been involved in lots of other organizations in the past uh, is to use all the, is this set of, of mission statements that we put together that we hope you'll appreciate. So we use all rational and ethical approaches to seek all verifiable facts from all relevant disciplines to explore and explain the origins of human phenomenon. While minimizing complex organizational structures and hierarchies and avoiding unnecessary paperwork and bureaucracy. <laughs> So many of you I see can appreciate the, uh, the importance of that. In the process, we hope to raise awareness and understanding of the study of human origins within the academic communities, but at the public at large. And that's what these afternoon talks on Friday are meant to achieve. 
We want a special thanks to the G. Harold and Lyle uh, Mathers Charitable Foundation in New York. Uh, the current uh, executive director is uh, Howard Chester. This organization has for many years been uh, the major benefactor for this meeting and we are deeply indebted to their commitment. We also would like to give a special thanks to Annette Merrill Smith who's with us today. Raise your hand please. <laughs> for her support of the graduate specialization in anthropogeny, which some of you are aware of, but it's a really a terrific program where we support this cross-disciplinary research for the students in the program. Uh, we have uh, uh, a new fund, a memorial symposium fund that we've begun in honor of Jim Handelman, who passed away recently. Uh, and the, the, uh, the plan is to endow this uh, in the future, and already we have uh, a good list of, in, of people that have appreciated this, these symposia over the years that have donated to this, and we're looking for more. On a broader scale, we uh, would like to thank, or on a more micro scale, we'd like to thank the sponsor of, of today's symposium for closed caption on YouTube, and this is Sue Rosner, Ellie Shifter, and Elizabeth Lancaster. We do have a, uh, a donor list of people that are in generally supporting Carter, not just the symposium, but many of the other things that we try to achieve, and I'm just throwing up their names here, but, the, but we're, we're happy to say that the list is growing, and I'll leave these up just for uh, a moment. You can become a member and supporter of CARTA today, and we'll use your support to support the symposium and other activities in, uh, in this nonprofit group. Finally, I'd like to thank uh, those that, are, that do such a wonderful job here at, in, uh, at UCSD TV, these lectures will be recorded and made available online so you can, if you didn't get everything that you wanted to get out of these, you can watch them again and get more out of them. So Rick Wargo, Matt Alito, Marcy Bretz, and J Jacob Parker. And here at the SOC, uh, we want to thank our ever-present Kent Schoenecker, who's back up there running everything. And finally, Give a round of applause to Ed for his wonderful piano.